Moshi Moshi, my Mi gamers, and welcome back to Kenshi Impact. Kiawa says there are a few things she must not risk alone. As you're not a cat, Kiazi won't kill you, so why not go with her? Today, we are gonna do Kiwawa's side quest in the Summer Tale for place. Depending how long this is gonna be, we're gonna probably do next after this. It depends how long this is, though. So, we do gonna find, like, two other guys. Like, um, things. Is that a chest? What? Hmm, the party finds no pedestal in which to place the great clockwork key, only a locked door. Where's your clan's pedestal? Oh, oh yeah, clan's. You hid it away in advance to save yourself the embarrassment of having it exposed as a fake. You done? Okay. Now, since my clan's main claim to fame is... <laughs> Misinformation, half truths, and fabrication. Ah, shut up, Cafe. Shut, shut up, Cafe. Oh, ha, ha, with an elevation. I swear, if I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Bo Barano. Let those be my last words. <clears throat> my clan's claim to fame is that we outwitted the dragon of old and stole its treasure. Ergo, all articles of value that we own, including the pedestal for the clockwork key, lie behind that door. So, next step is open the door almost there's one step before that the door is protected by a smart interrogation system we have to answer its questions and if we get them wrong we will alert law enforcement jeez well do you at least know the answers the correction fluid of time has dyed white the pages of the book of wisdom uh no no i don't know the answers of but course worry not i had a quick word with the constabulary in advance they'll ignore the alarm if we get the questions wrong so answer without fear there was no response on the door and nothing unusual about it knock on the door question one who is it okay why would i say please open up <laughs> Ether Bakuis and his unique. The great yokai, Nekomada in boots. And the trusty travel guide, Pixie. A uh, travel guide. Trusty travel guide. I think she fucked up. Question two. By which virtue did the ancients defeat the dragon? Okay, reward looks different. Hmm. Courage and strength. No, oh, no, 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 don't say that. Even though the writings you saw do prove that bravery has its uses. God damn it, narrator. Uh, you do realize we can hear everything you're saying, right? If you say it out loud, you'll only set those three off arguing again. Thinking it is fine, but please promise me you won't say it. Question two. By which ver- Okay, you already said it. Okay, wisdom. If this is the right answer, I swear I'll- Correct. <laughs> Faced lie. So low. No, no, we got it. Question three. Which is more real? The fiction of the outside world or the truth of this world? Hmm. 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 Both are false. <sighs> Please try to avoid being unnecessarily cruel in your response. Question three. I'm sorry? Okay. Perhaps both are equally real. Here, here. Who can be sure that the outside world isn't just a dream? And that when the dreamer wakes up, they won't just find themselves inside a novel. There is no way to know, therefore both are equally real. All correct. You may have the key pedestal. Hey, I did find one. The door opens in the puff of smoke wife's help. After the smoke Traveler clears... Marquis, you know what must be done. Please insert the great clockwork key. Oh, and uh, this is my family crest. Uh, yeah. Oh, looks easy. That looks easy to memorize, actually. Without even looking. I mean, I might look again, just in case. Um, well, hold on a sec. Do I, like, do different chests here? I, could, I can't grab them? Oh, come on! This is for this play only? That's bullshit. Okay. Now, for the installation. <sighs> Wait, hold up. Okay. So... What was the first, actually? I'm trying to look, though. Okay. He's swinging. He's swinging. Okay, there you go. Now I see the pattern. Okay. I did set up a little again, but you know what? I got a little again. Hmm. Do we really need this one? Okay, yes. Let's slice some heal. And then we slice some heal. 
And we safe from you heal. And over here. Hey, there's the chest we got. Now, let me see what what elaborate fiction the clan of wisdom was able to conjure up. If anyone's listening, I would like to submit these as my last words. I surrender. I'm the one who murdered Tappet. Damn. Okay, I'm not gonna do all this though. It's too long to read. <sighs> look! Look! My clan's history is true as well! <gasps> There's that same unforgeable signature again! Right here! What? Oh, does this mean that my clan is the only odd one out? Given that my clan's wisdom is such a subject of ridicule in your eyes, I will now appeal to my own personal intelligence, which I believe far surpasses that of my clan at large, and make a prediction. It seems likely that the claims made by each of our clans regarding their history and virtue are all true. Oberano, how can that be? Oh, I get what's going on. Once, when I was drinking with Guji Yai, she bet me a round of dried fish that I couldn't guess which cup the umeboshi was under. Whichever one I guessed, I was always wrong, and Guji Yai would lift a different cup to reveal the umeboshi. But then, I learned later from one of the shrine maidens, Miyuki, that all of the cups had an umeboshi under them. <sighs> Just goes to show, I still got a long way to go before I become a great yokai. Oh, don't! Fox Lady, that's just her way of teasing you. Actually, that reminds me. We can now open these three treasure chests. And unlike the guessing game you mentioned, this one's not a trick. Cool. Well, once you've plundered the last of Oberano's family wealth, we can go to my clan's place. And that's it? I bet I could have finished in, less I in that episode. The again, then. Yoink. Yes. Okay, number two. And three. Now the next one, oh, it's not that far away, actually, let's go. <laughs> actually, before that, I did see a chest. <gasps> I went overboard. What do you mean? Oh, can someone help me? Okay, father will help push. Yeah. And I'll pull you back. And I'm gonna grab you. <sighs> Damn. Like, father did her job to save the children. But the torso, they could burn. Anyways, we are going up here. Damn, this is the way I will climb the walls way faster than this. But that's fine. So, what's the clans? They're over here? Damn, what is going on? So many giant guards. Giant guards? What do you mean by that? We're just going in circles, that's it? I mean, I guess we hear a series of uh, her heels clicking at the same time. So, this is where we're going. The cohort of truth seekers followed Albizzi to his clan's sacred site. They arrived to the site of a giant guard towering over them. Up ahead is my clan's gigantified guard. He can be a little pig headed and he's incredibly strong. Your weapons won't even scratch him. Wait, but wasn't Cape's clan the one that's all about strength? So, what do you guys believe in then? Oh, the guard is one of Cape's people. Size is a coveted trait in the clan of strength, after all. Mine is the clan of empathy. And our key contribution is... Growth Serum! What's empathetic about that? Our ancestors believed that, just maybe, the dragon of old didn't mean us any harm at all. Perhaps the dragon simply didn't notice us, since we are so very tiny. So, they drank the Growth Serum and grew even larger than the dragon. Then, they set the dragon down, calmly explained their perspective, and eventually taught it how to empathize. Uh... The serum isn't what it once was, though. Nowadays, it doesn't make you grow all that much, and it actually makes you lose your empathy. So, I advise we take a detour. Mm, yeah. Despite Albizzi's words of caution, someone, in no doubt, has other ideas. Surely we could avoid a conflict with the gun. Sorry! Everyone, I have returned! I come with the long-awaited Marquis and their followers to search for the lost origins of our clan. Well, we weren't told anything about that this morning. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Uh-oh. The jungle is good all of them do your side. No one's able to fight back. <gasps> what? Even me? Oh, come on. Seriously? Um... <sighs> you and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard. 
But since greeting you wasn't one of the items included in today's schedule, the relationship quickly soured. If you're just looking for a way in, why not consider taking the path on your left? Yeah, we got it, we got it. Yeah, they're not gonna stop why us. Why is my own clan treating me like a villain? You've been away too long. We all have. Feels like we've been waiting forever. Yeah. I mean, you blame them? No, not really. All right, next keyhole. We should be getting close. Why is this place so full of junk? Are you the kind of people who never throw away the box when you buy something because you're worried you won't be able to return it without the original packaging? Uh, we'll never find the Oracle Pillars in all this mess. Never mind that. We have a more pressing issue. It seems there's a slight problem with my clan's family crest. The Marquis may need to utilize their wisdom to solve the issue. Yeah, look at- Oh, shh. That one is so dirty. Uh, it's probably... I think I got it. Wisdom too, huh? Well, you guys have a bit of everything, don't you? Except empathy. I probably got it this time, the first time. Over here. Keep I found it. Obviously! Yes! Keep the noise down! We don't want to alert the guard! I'm sorry, father is just so rough. <laughs> yeah, the way I said it, by the way. Yeah, thanks! Okay, I do... Okay, I do gotta look again, actually. I'm a little confused. Um... You're telling me... Shit. Um... Okay, look at this carefully. So... It probably starts from here? That is my guess? Okay. Um... Okay. Let's do it like this. Oh, it's blown the way though. Didn't look good. Um, there's a big two. Yeah, Kim, look out. Can't you destroy the boxes a little more quietly? I'm just rough with my items. You have no shit, don't you? Good. You better not. Um. Okay, it's a little difficult. I'll look again. Uh, it's so dirty. Damn, man. Like, how the hell am I supposed to know? Okay, it's like a triangle. Um. Okay, let's give it a try, though. Um. Actually, no. Hold up, hold up. Maybe yes. It's like a triangle. I don't freaking know. Um. It's probably difficult, guys. And then it's probably down. Okay, I think I got it. I hope. Okay, let me swing. There you go. No, that's not right. Okay, so put like this. Uh, I don't know if this is right. Oh no, no, really? Should we know if this is right or not? And then this way, this way. Now wait a hello. Apparently that was incorrect, but don't blame yourself. It's Albizzi's clan's fault for taking terrible care of their family crest. How could they let something so important get so dirty? Damn. I mean, he's not one about that though. Uh. So let's see. My guess is this probably goes down first, and then. Let's go up. That's what it looks like, actually. Is it up? And then probably go down over here. And then goes down this way. And then maybe it goes. Okay, this is not getting me anywhere, isn't it? <sighs> my God. Now you say something? Oh my god, you guys need to wait for me. Just be patient with me. I might have got this time. Hopefully. So, it's like that. Okay, if it's screwed. Hmm. You know what? I think I got this time. Hopefully. If not, I'm going to kick someone's ass. Like this? No? Fuck. It's not gonna die. This is the guard's headquarters. 
if we can just explain the situation, I'm sure the giant guard will be less hostile towards us. Hello? What are you doing? I'm busy reminiscing about old times with a photo of my friend. I know that voice. Is that Winston? <laughs> so, you come crawling back. I told you. I am your only friend in this world. What were you thinking? Running off on a mission with two complete strangers. <laughs> you are so naive. Oh, I'll make friends with them. I know I will. But in the end, I alone am waiting for you. I alone am your friend. That's not true. It's not just those two. There's the Traveler Marquis and his companion, too. You may have other friends behind my back. Well, look at you, LBC, all grown up. That's the last straw. Get out of here. I never want to see your face again. Actually, no. Why don't you lift the emergency measures for a second and let me in? I have a VIP with me, and we're very close to solving the mystery of our sacred site. I said get out! Damn, what's the sound of the alarm? The young girl arrives, scoop everyone up and place you outside. You and Winston both need your own space right now. Your friendship only needs to cool off, period. The guards kindly offer versions of his virus. The whole person needs to be criticized. Oh my god! But anyways, you, then you sneak back in. <laughs> the way you said it! Uh, this is difficult though. Because if I look at this... It's like, is this even... <coughs> up, down? Right down or where the fuck is this? The time has come to slay the dragon. How are you feeling? Nervous? Paima, we're doing this I'm first. I'm curious to see what this end of the world place is. And I'm still trying to figure it out. After I'm done with this bullshit. Huh? <laughs> it was that easy? You were confusing for how long I've seen you. Oh my goodness! This is the last one. Oh my god. I never win the whole thing, honestly. The signature. So it's true. Empathy is one of the founding virtues of Constellation Metropole, too. Just as we suspected, all three are the truth. Uh. uh okay. Well, this is a lot to process. I, I feel a little empty inside. Yes, we found the truth but there's too much truth i get you it's like in inazuma when there were only six books in the mirage warrior series it was really popular but by the time book number 88 came out nobody wanted to read it they all lost interest a brief moment of joy is drowned out by a growing feeling of melancholy but perhaps there is a glimmer of hope to be found too anyone anyone all right, I'll say it. How is it the case that these three versions of history can all be true at once? That's exactly what Paimon was wondering, but Boborano kind of already explained it away earlier, so Paimon was worried she'd look stupid for asking the question. It's not a stupid question at all, my dear little pixie. While I did postulate that different truths may coexist, there is an issue when it comes to these three truths in particular. The problem is, all three truths are the history of the exact same thing, namely the dragon and the Metropole's origins. Yet all three bear the signature, showing that they're genuine. Suddenly, the sound of a bell rings out. Okay. Let's get the clean the up bell. Here. It rang once! What does that mean again? Ah, yes! Highest level of emergency! Everyone! To the main entrance! Stat! Bring all the glue traps and place them outside the gates! The whole city is on the lookout and there's only one way out. It's the path right in front of you. Yeah. Okay. Lose the giant guards. Okay, we're doing, we're doing why it. The bell anyway? Also, why is one ring the highest level of emergency? Obviously because you have to respond fast when it's an emergency. It'd be a bit too late if they wait Careful until the with your heels rain. in the corner! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. What happened with this bundles, actually? I'm gonna one foot. <gasps> Fly! Ooh, okay. Hey. Okay. They're not gonna stop us. Woo! <sighs> we made it out. Don't know if we'll still be needing this clockwork key, but I yoinked it out before we ran, just in case. Okay, but back to the truth problem. There are three conflicting versions of the truth, and somehow they're all still true. What is that supposed to be?
supposed to mean? I don't know. I doubt anyone here in Simulanka can make sense of it. All we do know is that any manuscript bearing her signature has to be valid. Well, she is the goddess of fate, the creator of all this, and all these manuscripts are her grand design. The reason we argued about who was right was that we didn't know enough about the truth of the past. But now we have the truth. So we just have to accept it. As surely as we will follow the clockwork path designed for us, so is this the course that history has taken. It is clear and incontrovertible. We will never argue again. Ah, thank you all. Is that all there is to it? Is this where the decision made at the first crossroads of destiny has led us to? A pointlessly happy ending? Huh. Overthinking it would be equally pointless. Well, that's enough for one day. Time to take a break. Could you be any more cryptic? You're planning something. Paimon knows it. Whatever happens, today was a breakthrough in my journey of discovery. I will go back and share it with my clan. Me too. And me. Let's leave it there for today, then. I'm sure we'll find out what else Mr. Narrator has planned for us tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Okay, I guess. What a beautiful day, thought the Traveler, before he was overcome by a creeping sense of foreboding. Uh-huh. The voice in his head grew louder. Must go to Pendulum Lane. Pendulum Lane? Something up here has happened up ahead. Pendulum Hmm. Okay, I'll do that later. Alright. Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> what is that detective? Oh my god, this is terrible! I don't understand. The three great clans of Constellation Metropole have finally made peace with each other. Who could have done this? What happened? Oh no, someone's lying on the ground! <gasps> Cape! How did this happen? Cape, you idiot! Wake up! You need to revise your last words or everyone's gonna start suspecting me! Last words? What did he say? Ahem. If I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Boberano. Ugh. You could have at least pretended to not remember it. I'm sorry, Boberano, but this is an interrogation. I have to give the detective straight answers. Ah, don't worry, Boberano. I don't consider you a suspect, nor do I have the authority to charge anyone with a crime. So, are you the last people to have had contact with him? Yes! My sincere condolences. You were travel companions, right? It's a real tragedy. I'm afraid he'll be out cold for another hour and a half, at least. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's despicable. Hitting someone in the back of the head is the second worst act of cruelty there is. The first being replacing their gear oil with extra strong glue. So, Cappy's not dead? No. Uh, his gears, metal frame, and shell are all still in excellent condition. It's just his uh, energy supply that's been all messed up. Ah, uh, wait. But surely you can't be suggesting that just because Cappy isn't broken, there's no need to go looking for the culprit. No, no! There's a need! Huge need! Unfortunately, uh, this is rapidly turning into a cold case. There's no evidence. And no witnesses? Uh, unless there's an official clockwork pedestal, the goddess of prophecy around here somewhere. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Then suddenly, the long-lost dragon of old flew across the sky. Where? What? Where? Oh, you can't be serious, right? Uh, I didn't see anything. Wait, why can't I move? Uh, my mistake. It was just a cloud. Or a bird. Or something. My god, really? If only we could turn time backwards and replay the crime. Uh, Isn't that one of those, uh, clockwork socket things right behind you? Mm-hmm. Ah, so it is. No wonder everyone here is suddenly struggling to move. Uh, Traveler, if you please, let's uh, recreate the crime scene. Joy. Sure. If this cyclist we're doing, that sounds to be a lot harder to save for the next episode. Back up. Keep backing up. Go on, go on, go on. Keep going, keep going. Keep on going. <laughs> keep on going. It's too chaotic. I can't make heads or tails of it. Hmm. This is watch what happens. Let's keep watching. Look at them just waving at each other. Like, yo, what up, bro? 
I know what happened. And but Oh my god, waiting. Waiting. What is waiting? And bang! She fell over. I did it. I'm the murderer. <laughs> he just fell over. That's what happened. He turns like, <gasps> Oh no, someone died. A body has been discovered. Um, uh, it wasn't me. Totally not father. Vakiva, <laughs> you better see who's that be. Okay. All right. Um. Capay was walking along the street, and he suddenly collapsed. He was faking it. What? So case closed? Aren't you supposed to investigate a little more first? Well, we literally replayed the crime scene and saw it with our own eyes. There's no need for any evidence gathering or powers of deduction now. And besides, maybe the truth is inherently strange by nature. Like how Constellation Metropole has three histories, each of which is the truth. But didn't you say Cape was struck in the back of the head and knocked unconscious? For all I know, he could have bashed his head against the toilet bowl before leaving the house. Then walked here in a daze before finally passing out. As for why he might have done that, my guess is... Is... With the Supreme Clan question left unanswered, and the tension in Constellation Metropole suddenly wiped away, he was looking to create a new source of conflict. Only then would the city feel alive again. Uh, do we really think he's capable of that, though? Sounds like a pretty complicated conspiracy for the average Simulanka resident. Traveler, something about the crime scene isn't sitting right with me. It just seems unnatural. Also, anything outside of the immediate area won't have appeared in the replay. Is it possible that something was missing from the scene? Why don't we search the area? Why? What are you doing? Oh, we're... Uh, we're gonna head to Cat Bay's house to check the toilet bowl for signs of an impact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you just... Go oh, God, we're well, on these parts seriously? Okay, one by one. Um, let's start with this area. Investigate. Okay. Come here. Whatever it is you were looking to buy, please do come back tomorrow. It's just I have to close early today. A bottle of growth serum has gone missing. If someone's stolen it with the intention of harming others. The consequences could be disastrous. There's a whole investigation into it, so I gotta close the shop while I do an inventory count. If it turns out I'm wrong and I miscounted, I could be charged with filing a false report and disturbing the peace. Uh oh. Okay. Um. That's. Oh, oh, what? Hey, hey. There's a strange potion bottle here. Looks so weird. Let's take it. Yeah, it does. Number two. Kiwawa! Anything? Kitty go? Uh, you're, uh, you're not from these parts, are you? Just visiting? Yep, that's right. Why? What's up? Ah, well, I was gonna offer you a great job in the Titanium Mines. A safe and secure working environment. Uh, doesn't sound very safe. Uh, at least not as safe as being a courier. To keep the Titanium ore intact, we use specially designed pickaxes that can't cut through it. Even if you struck a person with it, it wouldn't so much as leave a scratch. And in terms of labor intensity, the work has been rated as class two physical labor by a reputable organization. Even cats can do it. I'm not. Ugh, never mind. I give up. You have Nakamoto, so you can blame them. Welcome to Paimon's world. Even Paimon gets it. Mind you, I don't know what happened today, but somehow a pickaxe has gone missing. Maybe one of the giant guards broke it down, so someone took it to perform a rapid resuscitation procedure. Sounds pretty brutal for a first aid technique. Still, a missing pickaxe. Huh. Is it just me, Traveler, or does it seem kind of suspicious? Yeah, seems like it. It seems suspicious, I suppose, any clue. Next clues on the staircase. I'm just gonna walk up uh, very uh, subconsciously. Uh, while my heels is twisting to solid, like, I'm trying not to fall, Jesus! There's a spear oh. here. It looks so mysterious. Let's take it. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Boom! Hey, what up? <laughs> uh, hello there. Uh, have you seen 
using my spear by any chance? Someone was shouting about a dragon a minute ago, and I instinctively threw it into the sky. Yeah. Um, we do have it. We'll give it back. There, you're welcome. Now, we do have one more to explore, which is... I do hear something. <gasps> a pickaxe? A pickaxe. What is it doing over down here? There's gotta be a story behind it. Let's take it. Yes, there is. Kiwawa! Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? What do I think? Hmm. Hmm. It's probably the pickaxe. If it was the pickaxe, Cafe sure is lucky it's not still lodged in his head. Actually, you're wrong there, Paimon. The foreman at the mine was just saying, this kind of pickaxe is designed not to damage titanium, so it couldn't cause any superficial damage to residents here. But you could probably knock someone out if you hit them hard enough, and it wouldn't leave a scratch. Let's take this back to the crime scene and replay it one more time. Ah, oh, you're back. That was a toilet at Cape's house. Toilet? What about it? Oh, hey! Yeah, um, forget that. Show the pickaxe. What's this about? What are you trying to say? We thought the way Cape fell looked odd, so we searched the area for suspicious items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed out of range of the crime scene so it wouldn't show up when we replayed it. Now we've retrieved it, we were gonna replay it again. You don't mind, do you? Oh, uh, I, I just remembered I forgot to turn off the clockwork switch in my kitchen. Yeah, I think I'll just, uh... Oh no, you stay right there! Uh... Um... <laughs> Place the pickaxe. Be good now. Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's go! Swing back, swing back, swing back, swing back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, the pickaxe is appeal, you saw that? Okay, now we wash it. Plain sun. Let's look around. Like, I see a pickaxe being held by that. I see him, I see him, I see that. He's holding the pickaxe. You see him walking towards it? Yeah, what look at that. Be up to. <laughs> Those are not your kids. <laughs> it was him! He did it! You saw that, guys? He knocked him down. Ooh, that is very interesting. Look at that. Uh oh. What happened to our friend? Kill him! Ah! Attack him! There you go. So, it was you. Oh, he looks so <laughs> sweating. <laughs> uh, I will congratulate you for cracking the case, but since I did such an abysmal job of covering my tracks, didn't exactly have your work cut out for you. So, all I can say is... Is... Catch me if you can! Um, are we just gonna... Oh, we hi. We have a runner! That's it! Let me at him! The would-be Marquis of Carabas dispatched the Necromancer boots who ran off in pursuit of the poor little minion. <laughs> it could be... Uh, hey, I'm uh, Uber, I mean... <laughs> I mean, not Uber, I mean... Hey, you got Amazon put down the package! Fly in! <laughs> Don't get hurt! Oh, what? The minion He decided to take the elevator, giving him a moment to catch his breath. Do I give a fuck what you're doing, dude? Really? His lower back asked. But the minion had no other choice. He resolved to make the jump down. Yeah, you shit! By this point, the necromancer in boots was gasping for air. The minion was... <gasps> oh, you get slowly touched him! more loudly. But, uh, will it that? Not. Don't Hell no! Now we fly, fly in. Whee! If that actually stops me, ooh, I'm losing. A characteristically catty response from the Neko Martyr. Can you? What do you hope to gain from bullying me? Bitch! I get to let up some steam. Like, bitch! I am a Neko Martyr with amazing thighs and a beautiful body. So shut up, bitch! Now we go forward. Whee! Are you done? Oh my God! Where are we going from this? Damn! This is like more than a lot of the story, cause damn! Okay, 
Okay, let's go. <laughs> you fell into my trap. Oh, and uh, by the way, remember the uh, glue you got stuck on when you first entered the future Marquis about to be? Oh no, she fell over. Oh, and uh, by the way, remember the uh, glue you got stuck on when you first entered the future Marquis about to be? Well, that was also me. I did it using my powers. Okay, now I'm back here carefully. Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys right now. You can just jump out of your shoes and keep running, but I... I'm wearing boots this time. Yeah! The unnamed minion yeah. made a... Fuck you guys! ...attempt. He began his long crawl, long, long crime, climb, <laughs> up the wall, the, the tall, the tall wall. He began his uh -oh. long climb up the tall wall. Okay, <laughs> you can't even talk right. Okay. Um, I surrender. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm stepping on you now. <laughs> yeah, Ashalito, though. Oh, damn. You've got nowhere left to run. Uh huh. All right. I confess. That was fast. Getting caught by you here was a backup plan. I don't know if what I've done will make things better or not. Time to come clean. <sighs> I am the narrator. The one who's been guiding you all this time. <gasps> My mind is blown! You're overdoing it a little bit there. Anyway, I only did what I did because... Why are you suddenly spilling the beans? I poured my heart and soul into all this. I was worried you wouldn't ask. The truth is, I was one of the first conscious beings ever made by the goddess of creation. And I've known for a long time that this whole world is just a fairy tale written by the goddess of fate. I know they say that fairy tales are just made up for kids to read. But I refuse to believe that fairy tales are just fictional stories and nothing more. The reason why Constellation Metropole has three origin stories is that the Goddess of Fate wrote three drafts and couldn't decide which one she liked best. Then her cat trod all over them and they all got crumpled together. So the three worlds just sort of folded into one. The Goddess of Fate was torn between them anyway, since she couldn't decide which ending was best for the dragon or the kids. So when she saw what the cat had done, she simply decided to go with all three. Of thought. But what does any of this have to do with what you did? You're not a fictional character, so you couldn't hope to understand my sorrow. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in all of Simulanka who would understand every day that I experience, every interaction I have with another person. Is it really all just a work of fiction? The only reason the three great clans wanted to find out the truth was for the pointless task of electing the Supreme Clan. I thought that once they'd learned the truth, it might make them curious enough to investigate further. But as it turned out, they just accepted it and carried on living the same old lives. I have to motivate them to keep looking for answers now that they think they've learned the truth. I have to make them uncomfortable with the superficial explanation that they took at face value. And I have to figure out, once and for all, while you real people from the outside world are still here, are we real? That's my full confession. Time for you to take me back. I'm guessing I'll probably be forced to make a public apology, then sentenced to half a day in solitary confinement. I definitely deserve half a day. Oh, also, pass this message on to Cape Boberano and Albizzi, if you could. The Great Clockwork Key was originally put in place jointly by the ancestors of the three clans. If the three of them had any ability to cooperate whatsoever, they'd have been able to remove it by themselves. Over all these years, not once have they ever tried removing it together. Oh, my poor child. There's one thing you've been mistaken about this whole time. Ah! Whose voice is that? D detective w Was that you? Your voice acting's actually pretty good. That's not him. The reason fairy tales are suitable for children is that they help them to understand the world. Fairy tales may be works of fiction, but at their heart lies an internal logic that is undoubtedly real-world truth in a condensed form. Per but let there oh, so be talking. no I don't know doubt. About that. The world within fairy tales is as real as can be, and by extension, you and your compatriots are also real. Goddess! Is it really you? 
The line that separates footnotes from narrative can never be crossed. Never the two shall meet. This is why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break free from the story. And there's a cat nearby, so you can hear my echo. Echo water! Just... your echo? Oh, poor detective. So... We are a part of the real world, too. Mm -hmm. Let us go into the back to Cape. So we need a shower of crime scene from evidence. The marshal of the suspect for records in front of the hills of Posadi. The guys mauled it over. They falls is overkill. Let's just get one big boop of the crime scene. Sus suspect. Try to look more serious. Heroes. More natural, please. Happy smile. But no smile from the victim or the friends and family. Thank you. No, no, don't give up. Stay on the ground. We need to cut the crime scene as is. 3 to 1 say cheese. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, God. This is... <laughs> Weirdest photo experience of my life. Yes, it is. So, is that it? <sighs> my head's spinning. Albizzi just gave me a quick rundown of the situation. So, you caught the detective? Sorta. We chased him until he surrendered. Oh, and he asked us to pass on a message. Okay, you tell the about the rest of what happened. And that they could have removed the great clockwork key if they wanted to. Does he really think we didn't try that? Because we did. After six months in that place. Ah, that was my bad. I thought it was a stupid idea at the time, so I didn't really exert myself. I, uh... I also sort of stopped trying after three years. You... <sighs> Never mind. I'm partly to blame as well. On the second attempt, I just hugged the key and pretended like I was pulling as hard as I could. Uh, you guys are so lazy. My granny's neighbor's pet cat has nothing on you and it spends all day, every day sunbathing. But, uh, anyway, uh, you said you heard the voice of the goddess of fate at the end? That's amazing. There is a world beyond our own after all. What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? Otherwise, I got bashed in the back of the head for nothing. Depends. Do either of you know how to get there? But yes, I agree we should go. And not invite the detective. Just to annoy him. But maybe <laughs> the reason we've never worried about whether we're real or not is that, unlike him, we weren't there to witness the creation of this world. We've never had any reason to doubt that we're real. If someone ever convinced me that these delightful dimwits, Cafe and Albizzi weren't real, oh, I'd be devastated. <laughs> okay, that's why I get right. It is. Wow. Wait, two days later. Wait, hold up. Is this part of the side quest? Okay, it's done actually. Woo! I thought this would be short, like anything else, but I guess not. Oh, I'm gonna there. When I subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.